Tradecraft, what is it? It's basically any ways, means, or tools that spies use to deceive others. For example, this can of PBR. Looks like a normal can of PBR, but it's actually a bank. You can turn it, it comes apart, and I can store money, valuables, anything I need inside. I mix it in with my other 300 cans of PBR, no one's gonna know the difference. If you've been following this series, you've seen what I'm doing. I'm taking paracord, pulling out the inner strands in six foot lengths, and hiding them inside of garments, clothes, and shoes. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave a link up here so you can watch them. First thing we're gonna do is grab some paracord, and I'm gonna pull a length, okay? Arms fully extended, and I know that that gives me a six foot length of paracord. Once we've got our six foot length of paracord, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. Next, I'm gonna come to the end, and simply pull out all the inner strands. There you go. Now you have seven six foot pieces of the paracord. After you've stripped out your paracord, save this casing, right? This outer nylon sheath, save this. This will come in valuable in a lot of projects. We're gonna take the two ends of the paracord and we are going to burn them with a Bic lighter. That way, they won't separate on us. Now the scenario for these videos is that you've been taken hostage by enemy forces. And by having this paracord hidden in your gear, it gives you a tool, self-defense tool, an escape tool, a tool. In today's video, we're gonna look at ways that you can hide this paracord inside of your pants. If you've been captured by enemy forces, more than likely, they're gonna strip you down naked. Maybe they take it from you and give it back after they've inspected it. So let's lay these pants down and look at how they're constructed. See if we can find some nooks and crannies where we can hide this and not be obvious. Before I get into that, I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you wanna see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. So here's our pant. It's just a simple BDU standard multicam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start looking at it, okay? How is it constructed? Where could we possibly hide the six feet of cordage? It's not gonna be obvious, it's gonna be very deceptive. So the first thing I'm gonna do is imagine if you were captured, they strip you down naked, if they're at all smart, they're going to first pull all your pockets, come around to the back. Same thing, they're gonna pull out your pockets. Okay, so that eliminates, you know, the basic just, well, stuff it down to the bottom of your pocket. That's not gonna work. You gotta be smarter than that. Here's some shock cord, they're probably gonna pull that. Now, in a lot of these BDUs, inside they'll have this cordage, that's how you can cinch it up. Again, they're at all smart, they're gonna pull all this. What we're looking for are little nooks and crannies. Where can we hide this? Now, one thing I've seen done is taking the buttons, cutting them off, removing the thread they were stitched with, and putting them back on using this six foot length of cordage. The problem is this stuff's pretty bulky, okay? So you're not gonna be able to sew this on without making it look pretty strange. If you did all of them in uniform, maybe that would work. You could split this down, but we want these um, Two pieces, because that gives us a lot of strength. Let's turn the pant inside out. Maybe we can get a better view of what's going on with the construction. So here we are, we're on the butt side. Here's the back pockets. Instantly what I see that I like are these tags. So instantly I'm thinking, well, we could remove this stitching, okay, bring it up, take the cordage, stuff it down inside, and then re-sew this. Let's look at the crotch area. If you're in cuffs, you're pretty limited where you can reach, okay? You're gonna be able to maybe reach your waistband. Right away, I'm liking this, and I'm looking at how is it built, okay? For example, we're looking for pockets, right? So two pieces of material that are sewn together, but that are able to be split apart, right? Like that, that's a pocket in there. Here we are at the cuff of the pant leg. Again, here's some nylon webbing that's used to cinch. I would think that they would pull this out, but maybe we could work this in. We've already got the holes in between these two walls of fabric. Maybe we could stuff it in there. I'm just going all through the garment, looking at how it's built. Okay, so I like this. There's a little pocket, two pieces of material, and they're stitched down so we can't get into them. But maybe here's a nice pocket here between this flap on the buttocks, goes over the back pocket, Nice, nice room in here. Could we come in, cut this stitch, stuff it in, and restitch that? 
Now the thing with restitching it is it's got to match. Okay, you can't have this, you know, disrupted by factory stitch and then da 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 da, da your stitch and then factory stitch. That that's pretty obvious. You've got to think real stealthy, real 007. I'm trying to hide this. We're trying to deceive. Now one thing that's common here's the length of the pant. Here's the leg. Is to come in and lift up this stitching. Okay. So basically you're deconstructing it, break this down, cut these seams out, put this in. Okay. You can see here, it go right down the middle, then restitch that. Now that's a different level. We're trying to, I'm trying to find something that's quick and easy that you can do at home without having to rip your clothes apart and use a sewing machine to put it back together. The most important thing about this project is to get you thinking. Okay. Thinking like a spy, thinking of deception. So just try everything. There are no right and wrong ways to do this. Okay. How about this button? Maybe we could come behind the button and wind this six foot of cordage behind it. Well, there we go. We did a test. That's not going to work because it takes up all the gap behind the button. That's going to be way too obvious, right? It's fatter than the button once it's wound. So this button would no longer function. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. After going around, I'm thinking, Hey, let's go for this pocket. So I'm just going to real carefully come to the bottom. I don't want it on the top. So I don't want somebody to see that I'm going to try and keep it concealed. So I'm just going to take this thread real gently. See if I can lift up one of them, cut it. Okay. There's a cut. Again, we're trying to do this as covertly as possible. There we go. I've got it broken. I want to be real gentle. I don't want to rip this fabric, right? Because I'm going to come back and I'm going to stitch into those holes. And I'm going to try and make it as stealthy as possible. So if I just rip this out and cut this badge, that's something that you could see. You would notice that. So I don't want to just rip this cordage out. Okay. Now real gently, I'm going to pull this very gently. I do not want to rip this. I want to keep this as original as possible because we're going to stitch right through these holes, right? I'm trying to deceive here. Okay. Real lightly. I'm barely putting any pressure on this. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to take my cordage. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little loop on the end. So I'm just going to fold it over on itself, make a bend and put a simple overhand knot into the cordage like that. Now we have a loop. I always like to put loops on them. That way, if you did find it, you can pull that out. Come to the bottom on this. I'm just going to use gravity and see if I can get it to fall right in. This just takes time and patience. I want it to be spread out too. I don't want a big bulge, right? A big wound up thing of cordage. I think that would be pretty obvious. I'm just going to stuff it all in and then work it out. See if we can get it sit flat. Okay. And there's our pull tab if you're going to rip it, but that's going to be pretty obvious. We can't leave it like that. So it's going to have to go in there. All right. So the cordage is fully inside there. Now when I'm feeling it. Obviously I can feel it. You know, another thing we could take this completely off, maybe line it around the corners, do the same thing on this side. So it feels the same if they were touching it. But again, this is just a chance in hell that we're going to get away with this. <laughs> right now I'm going to use some thread and I'm going to sew this up and start from inside the pocket so I can match these holes up. 
Bingo. I'm in the hole. Here's a tip for you. If you have your knife, use a piece of Gorilla Tape and always keep a sail needle and a small needle with some thread wrapped around it underneath that Gorilla Tape. Now this one is literally 10 years old on this Mora, but it's a great way to always have sewing needles and thread on you. Okay, so we're complete. I'm not happy with the color of that. You can obviously see that it's different. Okay, this is a single stitch. Well, just now when we use the needle, that's a double stitch. So that's a problem. That's just reality, okay? Maybe you're doing this on the fly, in the field. Well, let's see what we can do to fix that. The earth is man's best friend. Okay, dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little dirt on here. Is it perfect? No. Could it pass? You know, somebody's not paying attention to the naked eye. It's pretty damn close. Would I spend, you know, eight hours doing it exactly perfect? Yeah, in a perfect environment. But maybe, like I said, you're doing this on the fly in the field. Hey, maybe it'll work. It's a chance. So there it is. Now I've got six foot of cordage hidden in this back pocket. I'm thinking immediately, you know, bathroom break. You got to go number two. They may be watching you, but you can drop these trows while you're back there. You know, rip that tag up, pull that cordage out. Hey, you never know. Ain't tough.